in a big diplomatic win for India, the Indian National Court of Justice (ICJ) at the Hague Thursday stayed the execution of former Indian naval officer Kulbushan Jadhav by Pakistan till it takes a final decision on the matter. A Pakistan military court had awarded the death sentence to Jadhav, who was arrested on March 3rd last year for espionage and subversive activities. India had dragged Pakistan to the ICJ on May 8th for refusing consular access to Jadhav and for violating the Vienna Convention on Consular Relations. The bench talked about the consular access that was denied by Pakistan to Kulbushan Jadhav. The ICJ also said that India's bilateral treaty with Pakistan in 2008 does not prevent India from gaining consular access to Kulbushan Jadhav. Pakistan has indicated that any execution of Mr. Jadhav would probably not take place before the end of August 2017. This suggests that an execution could take place at any moment thereafter before the court has given its final decision in the case. The court also notes that Pakistan has given no assurance that Mr. Jadav will not be executed before the court has rendered its final decision. In those circumstances, the court is satisfied that there is urgency in the present case. The court adds, with respect to the criteria of irreparable prejudice and urgency, that the fact that Mr. Jadav could eventually petition Pakistani authorities for clemency, or that the date of his execution has not yet been fixed, are not per se circumstances that should preclude the court from indicating provisional measures. The court concludes from all these considerations that the conditions required by its statute for it to indicate provisional measures are met and that certain measures must be indicated in order to protect the rights claimed by India pending its final decision. Under the present circumstances, it is appropriate for the court to order that Pakistan shall take all measures at its disposal to ensure that Mr. Jadav is not executed pending the final decision in these proceedings and shall inform the court of all the measures taken in implementation of the present order. The court reaffirms that its orders on provisional measures under Article 41 of the statute have binding effect and thus create international legal obligations for any party to whom the provisional measures are addressed. The decision given in the present proceedings in no way prejudges the question of the jurisdiction of the court to deal with the merits of the case or any questions relating to the admissibility of the application or to the merits themselves. It leaves unaffected the right of the governments of India and Pakistan to submit arguments in respect of those questions. For these reasons, the Court first unanimously indicates the following provisional measures. Pakistan shall take all measures at its disposal to ensure that Mr. Jadav is not executed pending the final decision in these proceedings and shall inform the court of all the measures taken in implementation of the present order. Two, unanimously, decides that until the court has given its final decision, it shall remain seized of the matters which form the subject matter of this order. 
I shall now call on the registrar to read the operative part of the order in French. Par ces motifs, la Cour, 1. à l'unanimité, indique à titre provisoire les mesures conservatoires suivantes. Le Pakistan prendra toutes les mesures dont il dispose pour que M. Jadav ne soit pas exécuté tant que la décision définitive en la présente instance n'aura pas été rendue et portera à la connaissance de la Cour toutes les mesures qui auront été prises en application de la présente ordonnance. 2. À l'unanimité, décide que, jusqu'à ce qu'elle rende sa décision définitive, la Cour demeurera saisie des questions qui font l'objet de la présente ordonnance. Judge Consado Trindad appends a separate opinion to the order of the court. Judge Bandari appends a declaration to the order of the court. The text of the order is available from today in TypeScript. It will be available shortly on the, web, on the court's website. The printed text will be available in due course. As the court has no further business before it today, I declare the sitting closed. India should have been given consular access as per Vienna Convention. Dismissing Pakistan's reservation, the bench of judges observed that the dispute is capable of falling under Vienna Convention. It further noted that the does not exclude those found guilty under terror and espionage.